Planet Dolan. From blowing yourself up on stage to sword swallowing gone wrong, we count eight people who tragically died while performing magic tricks. Hello there. My name is Nixium, Lord of the Dead, and today I will be reading the words on this here piece of paper for your enjoyment. Number eight. Sigmund, aka the Great Lafayette, was the highest paid magician of the early 1900s, but even seasoned professionals can make fatal mistakes. One night while Sigmund was performing his signature trick, the lamp above him sparked and created a huge fireball. In no time at all, the stage became engulfed in fire. This was extra terrible for Sigmund because he had locked the side doors to the stage to stop people from learning how his tricks were done. But luckily, Sigmund managed to unlock the doors and help the theater staff escape. He even got out himself, but then he stupidly went back to save his horse, and he got caught in the flames. Now the audience thought all of this was part of the show, and they refused to leave. It took the orchestra playing God Save the Queen for them to finally get the hint and evacuate. After the terrible tragedy, Sigmund was cremated, along with his poor body double, who was trapped under the stage. Number 7. Janaka was so committed to breaking the world record for the longest time spent buried alive that he ended up permanently six feet under. The Sri Lankan had come to America in 2010 to fulfill his dream of being a world-famous magician. Two years later, he roped in a family member to help him perform what should have been his biggest trick ever. The family member dug a 10-foot hole for Janaka to lie in. Then, they covered it up with wood and soil and left him there for seven and a half hours. When they dug him up, Janaka had stopped breathing. He was rushed to the hospital, but there was nothing they could do. Definitely do not try that one at home, kids. Number 6. In the year 1900, the Swedish magician Balabrega met an explosive end while performing in Brazil. He had planned to blow audiences' faces off with an incredible pyrotechnic illusion called the Moth and the Flame. Basically, six women would dress up as moths and disappear into an enormous candle flame. Unfortunately, Balabrega couldn't get his hands on the gas he usually used, so he bought some untested gas bags of acetylene instead. Oh boy. So, during the show, one of the untested gas bags exploded, and it killed him and one of his assistants. Instantly. The scene was bloody and gruesome, with blood and body parts landing all over the audience. Huh. Sounds like my kind of show. Number 5. In 1984, Jeff Rayburn Hopper attempted an elaborate underwater escape trick but he ended up sleeping with the fishes. He was submerged in Winona Lake and swam out a hundred yards from shore. He escaped his homemade shackles in next to no time, but his nightmare was just beginning. Because you see, Jeff picked a really crappy day to take a swim in the lake. The winds were very strong, which made it impossible to swim to shore. He tried calling for help, but... His assistant couldn't hear him. His audience saw that he had managed to free himself, and they assumed he was fine. By the time they realized he was in trouble, it was too late. The wind prevented them from reaching him in time, and he drowned in six feet of water. Number four. Benjamin was another one who tried burying himself alive, but he failed to get the alive part right. To market his upcoming exhibition, Benjamin, a.k.a. the Dark Herman, was publicly buried and then dug up in front of an audience three days later. At first, the trick was a success. They dug him up, and he was alive and well. He then led his astounded audience to a nearby theater where he continued the show. But, a short time later, Benjamin suffered a heart attack, and he died on stage. His audience, who had just seen him defy death, refused to believe it. 
They clapped along, thinking it was part of the show. And the creepiest part is that the promoters had been advertising the show as the memorial of Dark Herman. How, uh, appropriate. Ugh. Number three. If you can't beat them, join them. After working for a fake medium, Washington Irving Bishop tried to make a living exposing spiritual frauds. However, he soon realized he could make more money being a psychic himself. The job eventually led to his demise, although he ironically didn't see it coming. In his public demonstrations, Washington would do readings using an audience member's hand. He would feel for the tiniest muscle movements that would reveal whether the person was going to win the lottery or maybe fall down a flight of stairs. In 1889, Washington collapsed in the middle of a show in New York. He fell into a coma-like state, which people mistook for death. Not realizing he was still alive, officials performed an autopsy and killed him. They were hoping to study his brain to see if it was, you know, special. Obviously, they weren't using their brains when they made that call. Number 2 when your parents tell you not to play with knives, listen up, because it's for a damn good reason. Amateur magician Vivian Hensley liked shocking audiences by swallowing dangerous blades. But one day, the trick went about as wrong as it possibly could. The Australian magician was performing the trick for his young son, but instead of hiding the blade up his sleeve like he was supposed to, Vivian lost his grip and dropped the sharp razor blade into his mouth. He accidentally cut his tongue and throat, causing blood to gush everywhere, and he then died from ensuing complications. You can imagine that his poor son was obviously traumatized. The craziest thing, though, is that Vivian actually worked as a dentist. He really should have known not to stick dangerous things into his mouth. Number 1 Charles Rowan was a South African magician who was famous for getting out of straight jackets, leaping out of the way of speeding cars, and jumping into huge piles of broken glass. Uh, I know, I know, what could possibly go wrong, right? Okay, well, in 1930, he was performing a very dangerous stunt where he'd get out of his straight jacket just in time to dodge a speeding car. Hundreds and thousands of people watched as he attempted to get out of his restraints, and that is when they saw him stumble, fall, and get mowed down by a car traveling 70 kilometers an hour. His leg was almost severed in this gruesome incident, and as he laid there dying, Charles took full responsibility for the mistake, and he pardoned the driver. Truly, a legend and a gentleman. Alright, so now we have a question for you guys, and it's this. What is the riskiest thing you ever did as a kid? Let us know in the Reddit page linked below, and you might be featured in a future countdown. Alright, I'm done. I'll see ya. Who appears between 1.20 and 1.40 a.m., Witnesses have said that they have run over the ghost, who quickly gets back up and starts chasing after the car. All the sightings have claimed that he has only a black void where his face should be.